He was a robot. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Oh, shit. Lex Whitney! Uh, Where's that guy, Tano Mancuso? That's hard. Come on. Yeah, right. you got things Let's... to talk about. Hey, hey. See you, Hey, now. okay. So we fought the Nazi Mafia for years. Yeah. Yeah. And you never thought it'd be important to tell me that your cousin's been in this It was kind of obvious. It was obvious. You see the nose sizes? We all had big noses. Well, shut up. Okay. It's got me. But, yeah, okay. That's all. Okay. Yeah, that's really funny. We wore those stripes. We represented the rules, right? I relied on you. I, I consider you a brother. Yeah. And you lied to me this entire time. I hurt my neck. I'm out for months. I don't hear anything from you, and the first time I see you, you're wearing a sauce shirt. Their mom's sauce sucks, and I stand by that. What do you have to say for yourself? You didn't have to bring the sauce. That's yeah, all. Yeah. You didn't have to bring the sauce. Come on. What? What? What's the deal? What? I didn't lie. Get, get, get out of here. You get out of here. You don't care. He's just weak. No, 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 no. He's no, no, no. fine. He's got. Come on. Get the fuck out. I'll pay you later. I'll pay you later. Welcome Tuesday night Halloween special 7:30 Eastern Standard Time. We are live on YouTube and Facebook Live. I am Wheels with a Z. This is Grapple Pro. I am next to a special guest. Kramers is out of the building tonight. Finally, I get my way. Mr. Mikey every night. Hey, how's it going out there, sports fans? Bringing you a wonderful Halloween special tonight. Flex Whitney versus. The Dark Horse, Anthony Musso. What do we just see there in that promo leading up to this matchup here tonight? Well, that's why another reason why I'm on commentary wheels is we got to explain this situation to the fans at home. For about 18 months, Flex Whitney and Schwan Ross were a tag team. The ring marshals came up out of nothing, feuding with the Nazi Mafia. And nobody apparently filled in Schwan Ross that... Uh, guy Gaetano Mancuso is not named Flex Whitney, and he's actually a cousin of Frank and Dan Nachi. I had no idea this was going on, but, uh, you know, I kind of feel bad for Schwan Ross here being left out there in the wind and uh, in the cold. I mean, he kind of did it to himself. I mean, the rest of us knew that they were cousins. You know, sometimes family fight. And I'm going to have to disagree with Schwan Ross. Gaetano Mancuso's grandmother sauce. It's fantastic. Oh, it's top notch. I, I always look forward to when the Nachis are on the card at our live events and he brings me the special sauce. It is top tier. Kramers may not agree with that. He's always saying it, it's spoiled, but that man has no taste buds. He lives in Niagara Falls. I mean, come on. I wish I could disagree with you there. It's, but <laughs> the secret of the sauce is how you, you use the wrist. Yeah, it's all about the whipping. Anyways, back to the action. Anthony Musso, with a little disrespect towards Flex Whitney, or formerly known as Flex Whitney, now known as Gaetano Mancuso. And this is for the championship. Gaetano Mancuso earned this chance, but let's see if he can capitalize. We might be seeing a new champion here on Halloween night. All the tricks and treats. Tight headlock. Anthony Musso using dirty tactics by the face. By any means necessary to hold on to that championship belt. He's been a fighting champion week in and week out, yet to be pinned by any poor soul that comes against him. One-on-one -on -one competition. Quick roll up there. Only good for one. Wrestling always looks good and gets a little messy. That's how you know the competitors are taking him seriously and trying to compete. Gaetano Mancuso shouldn't be taking the easy way out, hiding within the ropes. You gotta do what you gotta do though. I mean, this is a championship match here. We wanna thank our sponsors over at Carbone's Pizza. Are you hungry? Go call Carbone's. Get yourself a nice slice of pizza. And wanna thank Dulce Penipento, attorneys at law. If you're hurt on the job or personal injury, give them a call. And we also want to thank Genesis Gaming. Yeah, they, they do our replays and uh, go give them a call if you're looking to start a new hobby or want to continue one. For the best in tabletop games. Clean break right there. Getting to the bottom rope. 
the, the tension between Gaetano Mancuso, if that's his real name. Yeah, who knows nowadays. And Anthony Musso, it seems to be palpable at best. Musso just keeps wants to take advantage of the rules. And Gaetano just kind of allows him to. He's got to five, and he's taking every second there, too. You would think that it, it'll be a little more fire in his, uh, his game there, but you know he might be just distracted by his conversation earlier. Yeah, one would say. Too much personal things. What a counter. But failing to strike, he's got him his head caught within the top turnbuckle. Interesting. I mean, a slap right to the ass. Yeah, a little, little uh, tap, or a uh, tush tap. Throws Musso right out of, the, out of his game, I would say. Oh, separation. Flying back elbow. The impact of the momentum of Gaetano. I think the tide has turned. Musso seems to be in trouble. Look at the power of Flex with, oh, I mean Gaetano. But can, I don't even know what to call him anymore every one thing, night. One, one thing you can't doubt is uh, he's got a lot of heart. Hook of the leg here. This could do it. Here we go. And for two. two. Strong kick out by Musso. Rolling out of the ring for a little wrestling break. He's got 10 seconds. Veteran maneuver. Gaetano fast on the chase. Absolutely. Trying. Oh, Musso seen it coming. Playing possum there. Oh, the ripple on the chest of Flex Whitney there. Pain. You can see the pain on his face. And dumps him uh, right onto the apron. You got to ask yourself, Wheels, how much more do you think he can take? Yeah, I mean, he's getting a beat down right now by the dark horse, the champion. Give him credit. He won't give up. No. If he's learned anything from those damn Nazis, it's not to give up. That's for sure. It might be the power of the sauce. Musso, the people don't like Anthony Musso. No. What does he, what does he expect? Well, he's a victim of his own circumstances, too. He's definitely turned a new leaf, that's for sure. He was once a fan favorite. Now, I don't know you can even say fan and favorite when you're talking about the dark horse, Anthony Musso, all rolling him up with a half. He has his own intentions ever since he won the, the championship. Just the, the level of disregard for the rules and respect for his opponents. It wasn't in the, uh, in the original intentions when he first won the championship. Hey, pro wrestling is a very selfish sport or, you know, it's like you, you got to look out for number one. Numero uno is yourself and uh, only one person can hold that heavyweight championship, right? I mean, you have to be a little egotistical to be on the top. You, you, that's just the name of the game, survival. But to take it to this level, I mean, it's been working for him. Right. I mean, he's yet to be pinned or submitted one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, you even know you brought in a guy from Texas to try to take him out, and that didn't pan out. Musso got his hand raised at the end of that match. Well, we always want to expose... You know, the, the champion is being a fighting champion and bringing the best talent possible wheels. But, I mean, to say I was I intentionally tried to dethrone Anthony Musso would be absurd. But I want to make sure that if he is what he claims he is, the best, that he faces the best. And we give the audience the best possible outcome for their money. And so far, that's been Anthony Musso. The fans definitely love that match. You gave him every bit of the money when it came to the... Um, a live event. Anthony Musso covering up. This is that cowardice again. Oh, that went was quite down low. low. Got him up and down. One thing you can't you can't deny, uh, Wheels, is that gravity. Once you go up, you're eventually coming right down. Yeah. What goes up must come down. And guy moves. Or guy Mancuso definitely came down right on the back of his neck. Musso uh, pinning him only good for two, though. The disrespect, though. Gaetano will not give up. Yeah, pl 
playing psychological games with Gaetano at this point. Toying with the fans as well. Musso loves to get under the skin of any opponent he faces across the ring. Referee John Tiger enforcing the rules. But there's only so much you can do before you have to disqualify somebody. Yeah. You can't be too lenient. Right, but you do want to see the two competitors battle it out. But there is a place in time to call the match. We always want to give them the best um, opportunity to, to try to succeed and win. But, you know, officiating should be impartial. And we always try to employ the best officials that, uh, that we can find. Absolutely. Tano fighting through inside oh. cradle. Shoulders are down, one, two. They are still attached, wheels. Oh no. Are we looking Going. for here. What? Big time suplex. Spinning neck break ear. Buster something. I don't even know what to call it, but you can see the passion and pain on Guy Tano uh, Mancuso's face. He really wants to win. This, is, this might be his time. Halloween night here. Grapple Pro live on Facebook and YouTube. Could possibly have a new champion. Who knows? Let's go look at this instant replay. Sponsored by Genesis Hobby Gaming and Hobby Lobby. <laughs> You'll get it right, Wheels. Don't one, worry about it. one day. I usually have Kramars to say all this for me. Don't worry about it. He, he's getting things sorted out. He's got that foot fungus. he got to put the cream on his toes. <laughs> Oh, man, did it smell last time I walked past him. Yeah, yeah. you weren't supposed to say that out loud. But, My bad. Well, we're on camera now. <laughs> we're doing Easter it live. the sauce big and live. Gaetano Mancuso counting at one. Poke of the leg. Oh, that was, that, was a, that was a late two there, John Tiger. Should, should have been in there a little sooner. That could have been it. Could have been, should have been, but did not. Oh. Anthony Musso with a rear naked bulldog choke from the ground. Maybe he was just playing possum wheels, who knows? Yeah, we've seen that earlier in the match. His tactics, I mean, they have been working thus far for Musso and his he's willing, championship he's run. He's willing to do anything to win. Oh. He's still got him down, he's got him pinned. Musso almost had himself pinned there. I think that was uh, that was a little low there, but who knows? Yeah, Musso's going to be singing soprano after that one. Getting, Got him, getting up him up with the bad leg. Oh, no, I hope they so gave close. out. Oh. oh, right to the back of the head. Right to the medulla oblongata wheels. That's going to have to drop him down. Oh, no. Insult to injury. Oh, Implant oh, oh. face buster by Musso. That has to be it, wheels. Yeah, I've seen him put away a lot of guys with this one, too. And three. The match is now over. And there's your champion. Right, still reigning. Night. Yeah. Still reigning champion, the dark horse, Anthony Musso. Like it or not, he is still Grapple Pro's champ. All oh, the disrespect after the match as well. The audience doesn't like the outcome, throwing things at Anthony Musso. And here's the replay. Lifeless Gaetano Mancuso being hooked into a front face lock. Bam. And a front face lock implant buster. And that's all she wrote for Halloween night. We want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. Make sure you stop by Thursday night, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time on Facebook Live and YouTube. I am Wheels with a Z. And right next to me was been a pleasure, Mr. Mikey, every night. Hopefully see you soon, buddy. Been a pleasure, Wheels. Fans, have a great evening.